Hi everyone, welcome to devlog number 6. This week I thought I would show off what I ended up implementing from the concept I did last week. Let's get into it. So this week I thought I would try out doing this unscripted version of the devlog. So let's start from the beginning. I'm going to rerun the game here. And what you first will be greeted with in the UI is your current location of your player. Uh, there's different settlements around the map, which has different assets depending on what type of settlement it is. Now, not all settlement types have different assets, but that is something that I will come to. Currently, I have an asset for a mine a spaceport and a space station and the other types of settlements are metropolis and colonies and wreckages that could be crashed spaceship that you can salvage some scraps from the other thing i can show off in the ui is the time hub so you here you can see which orbit you're in and how much money you have and for every orbit, you will pay a certain amount depending on the crew you have. And here's the player HUD. You can see your player name and where you are in the map. This will be updated depending on which location and if you are in transit to another location. Your level and your alignment. And on the right side, you have two tabs, your inventory and missions. And the, the button here indicates what shortcut you can use to open them. So you have one and two. And the inventory, here you can see your crew, your gear and power-ups. Let's go into this settlement. So first of all, you see the, the menu card. You can see that it's a mine and the location of it. And here on the left side, you have navigation uh, tabs. So you can see you can close it with the shortcut key S or you can click on it. Here you have transportation options. You can either choose directly where you want to go in the map or you can go to a specific place. In this settlement, you have also different locations. You have a workshop, trading post and cantina. And if you go into a workshop, for instance, you can see crew that you can hire. So here's an engineer. You can see his level, HP and his, his alignment. So the thought about the alignment is that uh, depending on which alignment of your crew you have, it will determine the alignment of the missions you can access. So if I grab a crew member, I can put him in my inventory and there I have added him to my crew. So I can use him in future missions, right? Uh, and he, of course he will be disappearing from the location here, but I haven't added that. So if I go back, I can go into a, another location and here I, you can see I have a gear that I can also add and drag to my inventory and I can pick up a mission here. I haven't implemented that yet, but that is something I want to come to next week. Right, so now I want to leave this place and I can either go to this specific place with a moon buggy or I can choose my starship. And as you can see, there are certain locations you can't go to and this is my current location, so of course I can't go there, but there are certain ones that you can only access from uh, separate transportation methods. So if for instance, I can go to uh, New Berlin, which takes 0.3 orbits and costs me this much. And let's confirm that. And uh, this asset isn't the final asset, of course. Uh, it's going to be a starship, but I haven't gotten to that yet. But here I am traveling and now I have ended up in New Berlin. And if I go into it, I can see that I can get to that uh, colony that I showed with a space shuttle. And I can also access other types of locations here, medical bay, research lab and tavern. And that's about it. Like I said, the next part of the development will be implementing the mission. So you can actually uh, pick up a mission, add crew to the mission and uh, start the mission.
but it will probably be another week before you can actually finish a mission and make progress in the game. That was everything I wanted to show you. Next week I will make more progress and come back to you with another video. Hope my rambling wasn't too unbearable. For my movie recommendation I rewatched The Fugitive from 93 with Harrison Ford and Tommy Lee Jones. I have seen this one many times, but last time I didn't enjoy it very much, so it was nice that I enjoyed it so much more on this rewatch. That only goes to show that your movie tastes change depending on the time and your mood. If you haven't seen it, you should. Thanks for watching.